Hey guys, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood, and I'm coming with you with the handheld today. I know some of you hate that deal. Um, so this is going to be a quick one. I got a job on the laser and had a little mishap. And let's show you what's going on here. All right, so, well, there. this is what I'm doing. I'm, I've got a burn on there. It's uh, three and a half inches by three and a half inch squares, nine of them in total. And... The grill pieces, they are tend to they tend to pop up or fall out when once they're being cut. And if I'm not watching when it happens, it can be halfway in, halfway out, and it becomes a problem. And that is what happened here. So those cut out just fine, but up here, two of them, one fell completely out. This one was up standing up at an angle and I didn't see it. And when the laser come around to cut this one, this piece was protruding and in a way, forcing the laser to move out of around it, causing an uneven cut. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to try and fix that without, because right now I've not done anything. The job's finished and I had the job, the, the laser is set to return here instead of going to zero or to home or zero zero. So right now, Without moving the project, without touching anything, everything is exactly where it's at when the job was complete. I can come back over here and let's see, that was the uh, the second piece that's kind of foobarred. And actually it's not foobarred because we're getting ready to fix it. Uh, I'm going to select this one. We're gonna come up here and zoom in on just that piece. And again, it was the second one from the right that's got the foobar, where the messed up cut. And again, she's not foobar. All right, I've got that selected. I'm gonna ungroup everything. Ungroup, there we go. And I'll probably have to do that a couple times. Let's see. Yep, ungroup again. All right, there we go. Now, let's see if that's individuals. Yep, all right. So it's the second one from the right, and double checking. Yep, second one from the right. That needs to be redone. Now, with just that one piece selected, I'm going to put it on a layer all by itself. And right now, if we look at my cuts and layers, I've only got two layers. I've got my engraved line and my cut line, and we're going to put that one uh, on layer. Is layer three? Yeah. All right. So layer three is another. Right now, it's not in a multi mode. I can duplicate the settings up here, which was five millimeters a second and ninety percent power. So, and without even, and you may not be aware of this. Without opening that, if you just come down here, we've got that one highlighted, you can come down here and you can change your settings right here. So we're gonna change this to five and tab and 90. Tab. Five and 90, five and 90. Okay, how many passes? One pass, that's good. All right, now I've put that on the green layer and all I'm gonna do is come up here and tell this not to output, tell this not to output. And if we zoom out to the work bed here, boom. All right, now, in fact, I'm gonna tell it not to even show the other items. So the only thing that this laser is looking for is that one piece. So if this works right, since nothing's been moved, I should be able to send that laser right back out and it's gonna burn that piece again and burn it correctly. So, let's cross our fingers and see what happens. Laser, dark. like she saved to me. So this was a quick 
well, not really a did you know, but how to or hey, that worked. <laughs> so this is a quickie, a shorty, but don't give up. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Think of a way that you can save a project. And in fact, I'll show you a real quick, a real quick fix that I did. It actually improved the project. Check this out. So these are one foot ceramic tiles that I have done an engrave on. Uh, and this first one was the first one I did. And I thought I had everything framed and set up right, but I didn't. And when I started it, the little monkey down here started burning first. And when it did, it started burning his feet and stuff down here. And I'm like, uh oh, I immediately recognized that I had a framing issue. So I stopped it when it only, was only about uh, three or four lines in. I think that's part of it right there. No, I, so I think anyway, there and right at the tip of that. So I had to reframe everything and I had this down here and that was the only, it was three little dots and I'm like, okay, now what do I do? So I just drew three little random shapes, put it in the array tool and created a pattern and then duplicated that pattern and created a frame and put that around the entire tile. And not only did I save a piece, but I added character to that piece and in my opinion, made it that much better. So I saved it and did another one. And we're gonna use this uh, to as a permanent pattern and for that uh, design. So don't be so quick to give up, throw away, throw your hands up in the air, scream, cuss, shout. Uh, sometimes, uh, as Bob Ross used to say, happy little accidents. You know, man, they're sometimes the best thing you got going for you. Uh, some of you are happy little accidents. Don't let your mama fool you. This is Steve Hobo with Wood. See you in the next video. I'm out.